A group of Chippewa Indians says it plans to harvest wild rice without state licenses later this month to try to assert rights they believe they hold under an 1855 treaty. They plan to gather wild rice on Hole in the Day Lake in Nisswa on August 27. But the commissioner of the DNR says they must purchase state licenses like everyone else or risk criminal prosecution and seizure of their rice and equipment. Tom Landwehr says the state's position continues to be that the bans have no special hunting, fishing or gathering rights off their reservations within the ceded territory. The harvest is being organized by the 1855 Treaty Authority, which is independent of the state's tribal governments. 1855 Treaty Authority spokesperson Frank Bebo explains why this is important to the group. So what we're trying to do is have those rights reaffirmed and understood by Minnesota because they do prosecute and they do confiscate rice and take our harvesting equipment. And all we're out there doing is getting food. That's mm -hmm. all it really is. And we've been doing this for millennia. And so we want to use our treaty rights to hunt, fish, and gather to say we also deserve to have a clean environment, clean air, clean water, clean food. And we believe our treaty rights are much more unique than other people's and that we can use our treaty rights for protection of the environment where other tribes haven't been able to. Bebo says they chose Hole in the Day Lake for the harvest because it's named for Chippewa Chief Hole in the Day who mostly lived at Gull Lake, which is one of the original 1855 reservations. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.